a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. <clears throat> Jesus said to his disciples, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne and all the nations will be assembled before him. He will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. A stranger and you welcomed me. Naked and you clothed me. Ill and you cared for me. In prison and you visited me. <clears throat> then the righteous will ask, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, to the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. I was hungry and you gave me no food thirsty and you gave me no drink, a stranger and you gave me no welcome, naked and you gave me no clothing, ill and in prison and you did not care for me. Then they will ask, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, a stranger or naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment and the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Today is the last Sunday of the church year and is always celebrated as the Feast of Christ the King. Two quick thoughts on this Gospel. Our Gospel comes today from Matthew. And remember that Matthew wrote his gospel addressed to Jewish people living in present-day Damascus, Syria, who believed that Jesus was the Messiah. And the whole purpose of Matthew's gospel is to show them how Jesus is the fulfillment of every Old Testament prophecy. And Matthew is the only one of the four evangelists to insist throughout his gospel that there will be two last judgments. The first last judgment will be for the chosen people, the Israelites, and they will be judged according to the standards in today's gospel. And then according to Matthew, the second last judgment will be for people like you and me, and we too will be judged by the standards of this gospel. <clears throat> Secondly, this gospel is the very core of everything we say we believe. Take all of the laws, the rules, the regulations, everything, and push them out here. This is what it's about, and it is upon this that we will be judged. Every one of us should feel a little bit uncomfortable about this gospel. It cuts to the prickly question of immigrants and refugees. Do we simply turn our backs on people, or do we welcome them as Jesus invites us to do? <clears throat> I've said this before, and I've gotten in trouble for it, but I will say it again. Jesus Christ never said, if you don't go to Mass on Sunday, you'll burn in hell. Jesus Christ never said, if you practice birth control, you'll burn in hell. But Jesus Christ did say, I was hungry, did you feed me? I was naked, did you clothe me? I was ill and frightened, did you comfort me? Amen. <clears throat>